it rained before I got here. I was really hoping to do this on a somewhat dry day. Just didn't work out that way. We'll stop right here. That's the first part of the trail, which I already showed you in the last video. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna try to get up close. Man, when one of them pastors gets right on your face, I'm gonna tell you, if you're not screaming like a little little baby, then you, you just ain't right. That's what I gotta be really looking out for. Blimey, we're down in here now. Looking for a gator. If I was a crocodile hunter, I'd be gonna jump in and wrestle that little bastage. And I got a mosquito buzzing on me already. That's what we're facing. That's where we're heading. Should be interesting. Here's another view. Too bad it rained just before I got here. It's only 96 degrees. And the humidity, you can reach up in the air and you can just pull that moisture right out. I feel like I could, I could be a rain cloud. Here we go. We're just taking a look. There's the swamp. There you go. Look at that. Good to be down in here. Listen to those sounds. Whew. Hey, parlor buddy. Am I sweating enough for you now? I think so. Might have to put the head net on here shortly. And I got the bug netting in the top of the pack. You know, it's real important about how you pack the pack. Jeez. Little bastages. We're gonna keep going. See how it goes. Yeah, here we go. That's what I was expecting, especially after just rain, you know. Try to get up around it. By the way, those uh, leggings that I was worried about in the first video for snake bites, uh, they worked out real well, you know. So I think uh, between the hikers and the leggings, I'm not gonna buy another pair of boots. I, like I said, I never wore them boots anyway. I, I didn't didn't like them all that. I mean, they were great, but boy, when you when you get out and you're doing five six miles in them, you know, eight miles on a normal hike, you know, when I was young, boy, they just put the blisters on my feet. Whereas these hikers, uh, you know, you can go just about anywhere. I'm not looking forward to cleaning everything up when I get home. All this stuff's going to be absolutely filthy. Luckily, I. Uh, have a garage and you know you just strip down in there and go on in the house and have your wife bitch at you all right well we'll wait for the next bridge and uh, we'll get some more clips of that and then like i said on the way back we'll we'll get that area also you know what i <laughs> how stupid i am i've been recording when i thought i wasn't recording and now i'm recording boy uh, that dang on it you know that's why i'm an idiot we'll have to hike this trail again maybe i'll hit the stuff on the way back that i just went through and uh we'll talk a little bit about all that but uh i don't think i got the shot of the swamp real well but uh you can kind of see we're down in here i'll go ahead and get a little selfie here so yeah yeah, I'm, I'm sweating, buddy, parlor buddy. It's uh, it's pretty, we're pretty wicked, but it's all good. Trail's uh, not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I just wish it hadn't rained. Oh, good. So here we are coming up on another bridge. Uh, now you can get a good look at the swamp. This is why I love this trail so much, and I love Florida. You know, if you, if you condition yourself, you can, you can do all right. Woo. Here, let's take a look. There you go. Whew. Whew. Heart rate's up. All good, all good. Doc says I gotta get the heart rate up. Problem is, you go down in here, ain't nobody gonna come and save your ass. <laughs> Who's gonna be down in here but an idiot like me? Let's take a look at that swamp water. You know, Wish I could see a gator. Of course, these things can travel about 30 miles an hour, so I guess it's a good thing I'm not seeing any. Anyway, we'll get some photos on the way back that I missed the first time, on it. So as we hike along, 
just want to kind of hit on a couple of things, you know. As you hike, you do a lot of thinking, you know, which is great. I mean, and a uh, few things, you know, I, I completely forgot about was I hadn't taken the ponchos out of the bag uh, to make sure, one, I had the long poncho, which I recommended in the gear guide. And two, uh, it turned out, I guess when I packed one of them away, <laughs> it must not have been quite dry because, boy, I tell you, sleeping on that would have been a nasty experience. I had to put that in the washer and get it nice and clean. So here you go. This is this is what it's like when you're hiking, you know, and then been no trail maintenance. You're going to come up to stuff like this. Now I got to get over this with my pack. So I tell you what, we'll set up the camera. So the bug gear is coming out. The skaters are getting really bad. But this is kind of what you encounter, you know, that you don't really expect here. Let me get that camera a little bit better. You know, if you're on a normal hike, you would never have to do this with a backpack. This ain't a normal hike. Oh, boy. Now that walking stick comes in handy, huh? All right. Well, we'll... We'll edit that. I mean, boy, look at, I guess I could show you the whole tree. Holy moly. This hasn't been, this wouldn't be here in the wintertime. I got to take the pack off to get the buck netting out. So this is all good and I have a little stop here. We're going to throw the netting on. They're getting me through the uh, merino wool shirt here. So that's not good. I don't need West Nile virus. So any, any journey is fine as long as you got the equipment, you know, and that's, that's the key, man, you know, for a hike like this, plenty of water, of course, you know, that's, oh yeah, I got to drink the water, but, uh, you know, some of this stuff is new, this uh, little head cap, I, I found this on Amazon, check it out, pretty good, huh, it's, uh, I like it because it fits over top of the hat, whereas with the uh, whole bug netting outfit it doesn't necessarily uh come down over so i think this will be good to keep them off now the hands aren't protected and i'm going to tell you at isle royal you had to have the hands completely protected because the mosquitoes they were even worse than they are here so i'm, I'm getting kind of used to it so we'll we'll keep on going you know it's just a muddy mess back in here like i said you know we're seeing you're seeing some of the things that we're having a cross. It's a uh, whoa. Stan got caught. I gotta go ahead and break it in. Let's uh, let's clip it off right there. So, you know, I just thought I'd get another video as I get some thoughts in my head. You know, one of the important things, you know, if you're gonna go backpacking, you know, you got your house on your back, and uh, once you get out, especially if you're doing trails like this, you know, you. You're on your own, baby. You can't depend on anybody or anything. And uh, so it's real important to get out and test all that gear, which is kind of what we're doing right now. Now, if this was a true test, I would hike a really tough trail, which is what we're doing. But I mean, I would also uh, make sure I camp a night or two and, you know, I do a couple, couple of hikes, but uh, not really an option on this trip. Uh, around here, I. I just don't want to camp here in Central Florida, and uh, I think as long as the equipment is, is doing okay, <clears throat> then, uh, you know, just wanted to make sure the pack is fitting like a glove like it is, uh, nothing shifting around, I'm not having any balance issues, you know, another question is, am I in shape? You know, yeah, I've been, I've been training for the trip, but uh, I wasn't sure how 96 degree temperatures and, and, uh, you know water and everything would affect my body you know i've been doing hikes without the pack but sometimes the pack adds a whole new dimension and you know i'm finding it's pretty easy to carry not bad at all i don't have the food in there that's the only thing that's not in the pack everything's in the pack that i'm going to be taking on the trip except for the food anyway we'll wait for the next bridge probably turn around there we're, we're a good couple miles down into the swamp so uh the next bridge getting pretty close to where it comes out into a uh, an, an area where you can park your car. We don't need video of that. So we're coming up on the last uh, bridge here. 
as you can see, trail's getting a little more swampy as we go. Like I said, everything's gonna be a muddy mess when I get home. Oh man, just don't, I don't want it. That's where the boots come in. See, you don't want that mud to get over top of the side of the shoe. But uh, anyway, we made it. All right, we're gonna stop here and I'm gonna take a break. We'll do a little recording, kind of reflect on the first journey with everything and uh, tell you my thoughts. Well, good first day. Equipment proved out really well. I like the new netting, although it's a bit crazy to get some water. Ah, another equipment malfunction. I can't find the metal piece. I'm wondering if it's off my backpack. So what I've been doing is just hanging that over the bear spray. Um, we talked about the bear spray, and then of course I got my little Leatherman right here. It doesn't add a lot of weight, but you know, if you, if you need it. Uh, I don't know if you can see the mosquitoes around me, but the bug netting is working great. Um, so I'm, I'm well pleased. Uh, you know, the leggings, I'm gonna back up, maybe you can get it. Okay, guess that maintenance crew needs to come through eventually. But uh, the leggings worked out real well. Um, they're pretty comfortable, although look at there. You know, I'm just noticing this now. This one's come completely loose. I'll fix that before we uh, get back on the road. I'm trying to think any thoughts about the trip. Um, I can't think of anything. On the way back, like I said, we'll get those swampy areas and we'll do that. <clears throat> You know, this is kind of some of the things you see here in Florida. I just love it, you know. You're looking at this and you're wondering how in the world did a tree get formed like that, you know. Just pretty cool. So we got a late start. And I got a ways to go. It's getting kind of dark down in here. The uh, swamp gets a little scary in the dark. So I thought we'd just take another scenery photo as the sun's coming in. Yeah, it's kind of why this trail is so beautiful. Of course, you don't want to be down here in the summertime, but even in the winter, I mean, it's just beautiful. Everything's green here in Florida. You know, we're, we're continuing on up the trail, but uh, I just wanted to get that for you. I still haven't made it back to the log and the two bridges, so I'm going to refilm that so you may see them twice. Here's some more swamp scenery for you. I'm trying to Kind of bring it around. With that sun behind me, you should get a good view of what it looks like. Really beautiful. There's my friend coming up on the log. A little bit more difficult this time when you're a little bit petered out. But uh, we'll get to pack over it. Like I said, we've been training. Oh boy. There we go. All right, let's get over this bastard. So I'm I'm real glad I didn't film me getting over at that time. Uh, when you're tired, it's a bit more difficult. Uh, luckily, I had that nice little step right there uh, coming this way. Boy, if you'd been going the other way, I probably would have been right on my face on the trail. Anyway, let's get back to going. I'll have to get to the bridges, take a couple there, one more shot, and that'll be it. Ooh, so we're taking a break here on the second bridge. I'm feeling it too. Boy, I tell you, it's a good thing I've been training. I can't imagine, you know, if you came down in here and you just, you hadn't been out in the heat, you know, day after day like I have trying to get ready for this. You just, uh, well, you know, I'm looking forward to getting back to the car. You know, you, you wonder why I spent all that money on that cooler. Well, you know, when you go out hiking and stuff like this, man, when I get back to my campsite, I got ice. You know, that $200 cooler is going to pay off, man. I, and then I can pull up a cold pop, or maybe even a beer, you know. And uh, it's, uh, it's real important to have a lot of ice, a lot of, a lot of cool stuff. Plus, it's bear proof. I don't have to put it in and out of the car. You know, it's going to be heavy with two 22-pound bags of ice. And, you know, when I get back to my car, the last thing I want to do is pick up a, a heavy cooler and put it in the car. Anyway, well, let's get another view of the swamp right here real quick. <laughs> So, 
little little panoramic. See the sun behind us. You should be getting a real good view. Isn't that beautiful? You know, I, during the winter here in Florida, boy, I tell you, if you, you hike this trail, that's how I kept my sanity when they had the lockdown going. This trail was open. And uh, in March, you know, you could come back in here. And, uh, well, you know, like today, I, I haven't seen a single person. And to tell you how few people have been on the trail, I haven't even seen a single footprint. You know, all that mud and stuff I was hiking through. So here's a nice bench for you and the wife to cozy up on. <laughs> That's one thing. I don't know why in the world they put wood back in here. I guess I don't know what they would use. Maybe a... Uh, like a decking type material, I think that would do a lot better. It's something that's not going to mildew like that. But uh, boy, you sit on that, you know, you're going to have a tough time getting those green stains out of your pants. Anyway, talk to you soon. Boy, anyway, I thought I'd get one last shot. This is the last bridge. Just kind of seeing what we're crossing. Imagine if this bridge wasn't here, you'd have to hike through that. I really wouldn't enjoy that. And you got this over here. Ooh, you can just hear those mosquitoes trying to get at me. I'm pissing them off. Of course, this is where I wish I had gloves because they've gotten me on the hands a few times. And that's why you pack gloves. So we're kind of winding down on the hike here. You know, just want to give you one last shot of the swampy area because soon we'll, about another quarter mile, we'll be hiking up out of the swamp into... Well, I wouldn't call it an easy trail, but, uh, you know, not not quite so buggy, you know. If look up here, you'll see the trail's washed out, so I gotta kind of navigate that. So we won't be videoing too much longer. But uh, one last view of the swamp, and then I'll just cut it on when we get back to the car. Let's see, I'll have to see how that turns out. Here we go. Check it out. Alrighty. Okay, I lied. You got to kind of see this for yourself. This is why you come back here, you know? Where else are you going to get scenery like this? Check it out on the left. That's just awesome. You know, some of these trees have probably been here hundreds of years growing up in this swamp. Thank God we still have places like this left on the planet where we can come and enjoy. I'll swing back over one last view here. Coming in. Pretty cool, huh? Well, I All wish right. you could hear what I hear. Man, the skeeters are out. Boy, oh boy. But yeah, you see stuff like this and you wonder, why on earth is there like a, a fence there? <laughs> you know, I mean, what's, what's it for? You know, it's, 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 I see all kinds of stuff like that on the trails, but anyway, just get your thoughts going. So, let me give you a little different look of Florida. You know, a lot of the trails here look just like this, you know, and uh, pretty easy hiking. That's the thing I like, you know, and you come out here, you don't, you don't need the bug netting and well, the flies, the flies do bite on you when you get back in here. Um, so it wouldn't be maybe a head net just to keep yourself and, you know, just to, wouldn't hurt to have a long sleeve shirt. Of course, I, with the bug netting, I prefer to just to put on a short sleeve shirt and have it going that way. But uh, just wanted to kind of show you that not all trails are crazy here. Sometimes you just head out and have a nice leisurely little hike. It's uh, pretty nice. So, how about it there, parlor buddy? Is this enough sweat for you? I think I'm... Uh, actually drenched from head to toe. Best part of the journey right here is when you're done. <laughs> and the good news is, unlike when I'm gonna be out camping, I get to go home to the air conditioning and, uh, well. 2020. There you go, buddy. <laughs> hey, you never know who you're gonna run through, that's cool. Um, so, bought these Ozarks for Florida four for $32, you gotta have these. You know, when you get back, you gotta wanna have some ice water. Now the Yeti, you can't beat the Yeti. It's a better deal, but um, comments, couple equipment malfunctions. Gotta figure out why I couldn't pin the uh, water bladder right here. 
Uh, the the um, leggings came loose. Maybe I'll have to put a safety pin on those, keep those. That's why you do a trial run. Um, but I think we're pretty ready. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't think I'll be going back down in there again. Uh, just too wet, too muddy. And, um, well, anyway, we've got a lot of editing to do because I was filming when I thought I wasn't, and I was not filming when I thought I was. So, see you all soon. So, dude, 